Hello, everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know that you will find inspiring, interesting, and always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. All right, business owners, today is all about you. Have you ever thought about your idea, where you wanted to go, what you wanted to do, how to get that business started? Did you really think that it was going to take more time, money, and expertise than you have? Well, have I got a treat for you. Today, I want to introduce you to Roy Johnson, Jr. He is known as the business launcher, and we're going to find out why. Hi, Roy. How are you? I'm doing great, Ricky. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for joining us because I know you have a lot of information that a lot of potential business owners want to hear. So we're going to jump right in. First of all, talk to me about the business launcher. What is that all about? So the business launcher, I consider myself uh, a pre-K kindergarten uh, entrepreneurship teacher. And it's for those individuals who have these dreams, desires, aspirations uh, within them that's uh that's wanting to birth a, a business and they just hadn't you know didn't know what to turn or what questions to ask and so mm -hmm. i'm that individual who's uh there used as a conduit to help mm -hmm. manifest those dreams uh and allow them to birth that business that's been with uh that's been within them that's that's awesome because so many of us have a dream we have something we want to be or do something if you will that we're called to do and for some reason we don't know where to go so what is it that you offer a potential business owner as the business launcher what do you do well i'm glad that you asked so one, one of the things that i really focus on one of the very first things which is the foundation to anything is i focus on your mind uh, mm -hmm. Because we all know that uh, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. You know, yeah. you may have thought you may have thought about it, uh, and it may uh, ran across your mind. But the reality of the fact is, everybody is not ready for the trials and tribulation and the challenges that come with being an entrepreneur. So right. I deal, deal with the mind. But then also, I guide them through a coaching program, an eight week coaching program. Okay. Uh, and. You have to be willing to do the work, of course, but I coach you through a program step by step to uh, being able to start your business from, from uh, getting your business name, getting your tagline, getting your logo, uh, understanding who your niche and your tribe is because you can have a good service and right. product, but everybody's not going to want to buy your service and product. And the mm. other thing about it is people don't buy your service and product, they buy your story. So That's you good. have to be able to connect your story in such a meaningful way that it connects with your tribe. And so, yeah. and so uh, with that, uh, my program, it, it consists of so much and it's so much value mm. that, uh, that when they finish with the program, they're going to have a, uh, uh, business that they'll be able to go out into the world and introduce the world to their baby. Wow, that, that is amazing. And I mean, it's something I'm sure a lot of us wish we would have had from the beginning because, you know, we all were writing, scribbling stuff down on a notebook at Starbucks at 3 a.m. And now all of a sudden, here we are, where do we go? What do we do? Now, one of the things you said is that people won't buy your product. They're buying your story. What's your story? Well, my, my story is, uh, so my story comes from me growing up, uh, and we, we have that, that old cliche, you graduate. And then, of course, you go to college, get good grades, you graduate, and what? You get a good job. Right. Well, that's in the ideal world realistically it doesn't it doesn't happen that way so mm -hmm. i went, i went to college i graduated from texas a &M university okay and i was going for pre-med i was going to be a doctor all along growing up i want to be a doctor want to be a doctor and i want to be an OBGYN. go okay. figure <laughs> so, we're not even going there <laughs> moving on sir <laughs> <laughs> so I want I wanted to go and be an OBGYN because I had a fascination with uh, 
the, the process of babies and the birthing mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. uh, but however, it was my senior year of college where mm -hmm. I had a self-reflection moment. I had a aha moment. Mm -hmm. And so many different things began to run, run in my mind, like, uh, oh, I'm not good enough, uh, right. or uh, I'm, I'm not being for, I'm not being fulfilled. I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. uh, is this the way I really want to live my life? Mm -hmm. Because when you become a doctor, your life is no longer your own. Your life now belongs to the public. And so I'm an individual who enjoys, uh, who enjoys spending time with my family, who enjoys mm -hmm. spending time with my friends. Those special moments that you can never get back in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so after that moment, I came to re real realization that although doctors make good money, mm -hmm. I, I, I just won't have the time to be able to enjoy it the way I would like. Right, to. right. So right. I, gra I graduated from college uh, because it was too late in my major to, to change. So I right. graduated my bachelor's degree. I went into education, got into education, realized my uh, methodology for teaching wasn't customary. Oh my. So it, it wasn't customary. Granted, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I started, my students were in the 30, 40 percentile range. By the mm -hmm. time they finished eighth grade science, they were in right. the 80 percentile range. Wow. <laughs> but, but there wasn't that support. So I mm -hmm. got out of that, went into management. Mm -hmm. I defined being in management as uh, running an adult daycare. Okay. Wow. Uh, and it was during wow. it was <laughs> it was during it was during that moment of mm -hmm. management to where it was either going to be me or it was going to be that job. And the reason I say that mm -hmm. is because my blood pressure. I had to go out on FMLA. Wow, that's uh, horrible. I had to go out on FMLA uh, mm -hmm. because the doctors couldn't get my blood pressure under control and couldn't get it mm -hmm. managed. So I refused to have allowed that job to take me up out of here that mm -hmm. way. So mm -hmm. I chose me. In December of 2009, I submitted my letter of resignation and mm -hmm. I took out my retirement. Okay. I took out my retirement and to say because I had a dream, but if mm -hmm. you were to ask me then what my dream was, I couldn't right. tell you what my dream was. Right. Mm -hmm. So I stepped out on faith and I started my business in 2009. Okay. Uh, December 2009. Fast forward, 2020 mm -hmm. uh, was when I had another aha moment. It was that moment of unfulfillment. Okay, God, what mm -hmm. is it that you really want me to do? So right. what I ended up having to do, I ended up having to unplug from all the secondary distractions that were going on around me, and mm -hmm. I had to plug into God to uh, to uh, so I can be able to hear His voice and to. Sure. Him, you know, uh, what he had for me. And mm -hmm. so I'm scrolling and listen, life coach, life coach, life coach. Mm -hmm. mm, that resonated with me. I, mm -hmm. And I said, um, I had many people that asked me, I said, uh, have you ever thought about going into counseling? I said, mm -hmm. no, because you're so easy to talk to. Uh, right, you know, right. right. I said, no. And so uh, this, uh, June of 2020, I made a commitment. Mm -hmm. And I made a commitment to go get my certification in life coach, business, mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship coach. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, the business launcher was, was birthed. I now feel fulfilled and I'm walking mm -hmm. in my purpose more than ever. That's awesome. So let me ask you. So as you're doing these things for other people in their businesses, I know one of your taglines is talking about being a business launcher, launching your business in eight weeks or less. Does that is that about your eight week program that they can get? Is that what that is about? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I have I offer three different uh, different packages. Okay. And one, one, one of the things as a business person mm -hmm. is you have to meet people where they are. That's it's true. Not, it, it's, it's no longer about you and mm -hmm. we're, what we're doing right now. It's not about us, but about right. the people who this message is going to get out to. Sure. And that that's one of the reasons why I get to do what I get to do. So, Roy, just real quickly, do you have like three top things that a new business owner could actually take away from this interview right now? And keep in mind. They're, we're going to make sure that everyone gets all your information. They will be able to find you. But what can somebody expect from you? Give me your top three things that somebody can expect. Uh, well, one of, one of the things is 
uh, as we heard on Sister Act, if you want to be somebody and you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Right, so and if any of y'all has not seen the movie, go ahead and get, handle that. Yeah, Sister Act, Whoopi yeah. Goldberg, you'll love it. Right, right, exactly. And so I believe that was uh, uh, that was a powerful message within itself, simply mm -hmm. because many of us are walking with blindfolders on. That's true. Many of us are sleepwalking. Mm. And because you're sleepwalking, you're missing out on all of these blessings. And all mm. those blessings that, that you've been praying for, God has been putting in front of you, but mm. you've been too sleep and you've been too tired, you've been too lazy to right. open up your eyes and focus on what what's in front of you. So wake so up. The first, first thing is mm. wake up. That's good. Second thing is don't allow fear to dictate your life. And gosh, you can pretty much drop the mic on that because anybody who's ever started a business, they fear and starting a business almost go hand in hand. Absolutely, absolutely because fear will keep, keep you, your mind, physically and mentally incarcerated. Mm, that is so true, so true. So wake and up so and allow, get rid of the fear, huh? absolutely okay. face it head head on okay second of all invest in yourself be willing to invest in yourself okay. if you're not willing to invest in yourself how do you expect somebody else to invest in your services and wow. your products mm -hmm. if you are not willing to invest in yourself how are you going to uh encourage somebody else to invest in yourself if you hadn't done it Wow. I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it because I uh, tell you or tell mm -hmm. somebody else to invest in themselves. Why? Because I did it. Okay. So those are your three tops, which are amazing. First, wake up. Second of all, get rid of the fear. And finally, invest in yourself. Look, you guys, if you are, have more questions for Roy, trust me, he is available to answer all those questions. We will make sure that you get all of his contact information in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. Roy, before I let you go... We got to play our game. <laughs> I love it that you're ready for this. So the game is called This or That. It's pretty simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things, and you, off the top of your head, tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? I'm ready as I'm going to get. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Android or iPhone? Oh, Android all day. Read the book or see the movie? See the movie. Wallflower or Life of the Party? Oh, I am the wallflower. <laughs> I am surprised. Okay. Summer fun or winter wonderland? Oh, after this year, uh, summer fun. <laughs> I can imagine. Eat to live or live to eat? Oh, I eat to live. Mm, boring. Um, out in nature or staying in the house? Oh, out in nature. Yeah, I me like too. To get out. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Coke. Drive or ride? I'm getting tired of driving. I want to ride sometimes. Right? I know that's right. <laughs> I like sports or I don't care? I uh, like sports depending, but sports, yes. Okay, I'm down. So, when you were in high school, what was your first job? Oh, when I was in high school, I worked at the hospital. I was in. Wow. I worked at the hospital. I worked in the uh, Texas Children's Emergency Center as an administration, uh, as an administrator clerk. So awesome. registering, registering the patients, and so that was one of my first ones. That is amazing. Roy, thank you so much for your time and for your insight and your expertise. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, Ricky. I had thoroughly enjoyed it. Been our pleasure. All right, everybody, that's it. But we will see you next time on Extra.